with that. All right, let's get right into it. It's time for your TLC Hiking Club Weekly Vid Clip for the week of October the 15th. Anyhow, let's get right into it, guys. Uh, we'll start off with last weekend's adventure to Antelope Canyon, Upper Antelope, Lower Antelope, uh, Horseshoe Bend, Spencer's Trail, Lee's Ferry, River Trail, Secret Canyon Hummer Tour, uh, and staying on Lake Powell Resort and Marina. Uh, quite the weekend of events. Um, thanks to all those who attended and came along and made a, a special adventure. It was a lot of fun. It was a good time. Um, you know, in our hotel room, there were four guys, you know, uh, uh, it was it was just was a, was a lot of fun to spend that quality of time with 20 some of us uh, all weekend long eating dinner with one another sharing those adventures and um, not only that but those tours that we were on in Antelope Canyon you know some people may not realize what Antelope Canyon was they probably do now they saw our pictures uh, but it's one of the most miraculous and beautiful places, not only in Arizona, not only in the U.S., but in, in the world. Um, and you see that when you're on site because, you know, those who went can attest to this, that how many foreign people we saw that didn't speak a lick of English, Japanese and Russians and uh, French and um, you know, so it was just I intriguing to see the awe of people uh, that, that traveled around the world to come to Page, Arizona. Um, so for those who, of you who have never been there, my goodness gracious, I recommend you to get there. Take your family. Um, we did a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I got to tell you, we jam-packed in the events that we did. And there were still more things that we could see. Um, so a, a wonderful time. Highly recommend you going if you've never went. Maybe those who did go can take a, a subgroup back with them later on down the road. Um, I enjoy putting events together like that. Uh, the camaraderie that comes out of it, you know, then it becomes a special event. You know, remember when we did have a soup pie a year ago and 70 of us went down there? I mean, more than likely, if you attended that event with us, you'll never forget that that event for the rest of your life. Um, and, and this Page, Arizona, Lower Antelope, Upper Antelope on the Navajo Indian Reservation is going to be much like that. I, I know for myself, I'll never forget that event. So, uh, I want to thank a couple people who, um, uh, Brian Kane. Uh, who toasted me uh, for the appreci his appreciation uh, on Saturday night at dinner. Uh, that was super cool. Thank you, Brian, for the extra thanks. And, uh, and of course, I, I thank all of you that who give me your individual gratitude for putting this together. Thank you kindly. Um, and a special shout-out goes to Al Court, who put this together for me. This here is... Um, you can see it right. There you go. Anyhow, you can see the pinks and the reds and the oranges. Uh, and he's wonderful with photography. And he he put this together for me. Um, I'm going to probably, I don't know, I may end up hanging this in the living room if the wife will allow me to. Um, if not, it'll come somewhere in the office. Uh, thank you, Al, for putting this together for me. Thank you, Ken. Um, moving onward, uh, the Spencer's Trail that we did, wow, uh, ended up being, we ended up putting nine miles on it because we blew right past the, uh, the first turnoff because I guess we, you know, hey, five hours in a vehicle uh, and we got the trail shoes on and we were ready to go. We flew right by the Spencer's Trail turnoff, went down River Trail for two miles, came back two miles, uh, you know, and then hit Spencer's Trail. Uh, and they put this together for me as well. Uh, <laughs> it was quite evident, um, but when you're, you're flying down the trail running, you see, well, we missed the turnoff. We did end up making it up Spencer's Trail to the cliff, 
uh, the rim. I was like, what, 24, 2,500 feet elevation gain. This is a mother load. This thing will kick your rear end, a great hike. Uh, we put it in the same category as a flat iron. Uh, it, it's harder than camelback, so put it in the same category as a flat iron, per se. Um, moving onwards to today's hike, uh, the Mahatak Trail uh, out in 19th Avenue. Not uh, as a, a popular trail on South Mountain, uh, and we saw that. Uh, and then we had incorporated... Uh, Blazers Ridge, Blazers Canyon Ridge Drop uh, on top of that, which is um, a trail that's not yet marked by the South Mountain Park Service. Um, and it was, uh, uh, wow, I, I loved it, the drop-in. Uh, it was very steep, and it was a wonderful trail run. It was like being on a roller coaster ride. Uh, put a smile on my face for the, the whole way down that we came back on that loop. Thanks to all those who attended that hike today. Beautiful weather. It was 24, 25 of us today. Great time, good times, a lot of laughs. And, uh, you know, as you guys know, I, if I'm going to do South Mountain, I'm not going to, I'm going to try to not do it in mediocrity. I'm going to try to to beef it up, add a new trail, add a little off trail, something along those lines. Um, so it's not your typical, you know, South Mountain hike. So for those of you who are thinking, oh, well, you know, he's just doing a, a South Mountain hike, it's, you know, no, trust me. Um, especially if you went today, you would have seen it wasn't your normal everyday Mormon trail or national trail, you know, type of South Mountain hike. Not that there's anything wrong with him. I'm just, you know, trying to make a point that some people will discount a South Mountain hike, uh, and I, I plead with you to take a second chance or a second look at that. Um, okay, moving onward, uh, I knew today was going to be a lengthy one. My apologies. Uh, our next hike uh, that I'm doing now, one of our fellow organizers is doing a hike on October the 27th. Uh, Tom Highland is leading a hike. Um, on the, that particular day. I'm not attending that hike. I have family activities, but the next hike that I am uh, organizing and leading is the Max Delta Mine Camp. Um, not the Lost Ruins, not the Lost Ruins way out Chandler Boulevard on the Ahwatukee side, just to, to differentiate between the two. Um, I'm actually doing Max Delta Mine Camp. There was a mine camp that was down there. It's close to the Triangle, if you know the terms in South Mountain Park, the Triangle. So I'm going to take us into that mine camp. Um, we may be able to get into the mine a little bit, do a little bit of exploration. Uh, so bring your headlamps just in case we can do that. No promises there, um, but we at least will be able to, to hike through the camp. And then we're going to go up what is called Vampire Canyon because it looks like a bat, the shape of a bat. So it's going to be uh, another uh, new trail um, to incorporate with the hike. So uh, with that said, guys, uh, thanks again for today and last weekend. Um, thank you kindly. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you out on Saturday, November 10th for Max Delta Mine and Vampire Canyon. Uh, until then, have yourself uh, a productive couple of weeks. We'll see ya.